Hello my friends, welcome again. So here we are in the employee management and this is with the UJS. Okay, so if I go to the code and inside the employee index, we add this uh, employee index uh, component which we register in the app.js as a global component. Okay. But uh, I want to use uh, view router, so when we want, I want to hit this button and go to the new component. So, for example, employees slash create. For now, we have 404, and we have this uh, inside the roads. We have the employees, employees create, and we render the employee create component which is this one and edit we render this edit but, uh, component and to do this we can use the view router just add a router view in the index blade of the employees inside here and save and go I refresh we have the same thing and I'm going to open the console to see when we have some error okay so if uh, I make a change to the roads so this employees is responsible for slash employees okay so if I change this to be for example employees create and add it here and now yeah, run the npm run the watch to watch all, all the changes we made to the Vue.js and if I refresh we have nothing because in the uh, create view we don't have anything here so I'm going to scaffold the view default one save and if I refresh now we have an empty empty page Okay, you go and change this back to what we... Yeah, we have this kind of table here. And uh, now I want to add this button. So when we click here, go and create, go to the create component or create page, what we want to say. So go to this one. And for that, if I go to the index uh, view, uh, we have this button here. I'm going to work with the uh, router link now. And we need that the name. And then go to the road.js and the name for the create is employee create. Copy this one. Go to the index view and Pass it here and also copy the class. Okay, close, create, remove this another link and save. Go here and refresh. And now, if I click here, we have the employees create, and I'm going to go to the create at and h1 create page for example save and I refresh here and we have for for not found and why we have this index at view employee create roots employees create okay if I go to the roads web PHP, we have the any and we add okay. I, we need to remove this one, save and go refresh. Yeah, now we have the create page. Okay, okay. Now I want to add the form here so. 
I'm going to copy in the states, create and uh, copy all the container here. Okay, and remove this. We need to add an road div element, so div and pass it here now, this one. We need to remove all the blade stuff. So here, I remove this one and create employees. But the road is going to be the same thing as we added it here. Just uh, copy this one, go here and paste it here. The class is float right, so change the class and change this to be back. And we need to go back to the employees index. Okay, remove this one now. Uh, so remove the CSF token Remove this And I've so got this one All the blade stuff Name Value and also this one the error and this store okay save and go here refresh and we have this create employees and we have a back button here but the back button where is, is not uh, router link class float right okay save go here refresh yeah we have the back button here and if i click we go back to employees create back create we don't have the refresh below the browser so if you see we just change the URL okay now if I go to the table plus and we need the last name first name middle name address department ID country ID state ID city ID zip code birth date and date hired we need to go here and now when we have the name Change this to first name and also this one to first name and first name. Okay, I'm going to remove all of this. Name, name. Need and uh, copy this one and paste. This is going to be the middle name, middle name, and middle name here. Another one for the last name last name and last name here okay what we have all first name address zip code birth date and diet so we need one for the address change this to address and also this one 
address another one for the zip code okay zip code and add the zip code here if I save and go here refresh just close this one and we have first name all of that thing but I'm going to copy the first thing we have here for the country cut this one and I'm going to add before the zip code here and we need one for the country and this is going to be only the country and country another one we need for the state okay state and also state here another one for the uh, department okay and if I save refresh and we have this uh, country state and department and we also need the uh, city okay city and we have a city here when we need the yeah we need the birth date and date height and that's its uh, date okay for that i'm going to use a package so vue.js date picker and we have this one i'm going to install this copy open the terminal and paste this one npm install vue.js dash date picker date picker okay and how we can use this is usage usage uh, usage so you just date picker We need to import this one, so copy and close this. Sorry, uh, add this one here, and here we need to add the components and add the date picker here and we can use like date picker here okay so if i come and add this one value here i'm going to leave for now but if i refresh and method state because we don't have this refresh and we have this kind of thing but it's not the uh, It 
is not a style, let's say we cannot, if we can add some styles here, okay, input class, and I'm going to add this inside the div with a class form group. Okay, and add this one here. If I save and come here, refresh and no we don't have this one uh, cut this and paste it here this is for the for example birth date okay and we need to add the div class call md6 okay save and refresh now yeah why we have in the right form group row okay and the refresh and now we have in the like this if I add class and what class the uh, form control save Oh yeah, we don't have this. Okay, what? Calendar class, input class. So the picker, input class, save and refresh. Yeah, I think now it's more better. Okay, margin bottom, but margin top is going to be 4 and save, refresh, yeah, okay, we have the date, birth date and date hired, so uh, copy this one and we need to add this for the date hired save and refresh and we have this date hired why we have this plus form group form group maybe I'm going to margin of two and save refresh and now I'm going to add it here margin top two for this one and the same thing for margin for the birth date save and refresh and I think now it's more okay okay mm. now I need the countries states departments and the cities for that going to create 
open the terminal and clear this one I want to create a controller artisan make controller API employee controller resource okay close this one and go to the uh, API routes and here route get and when we get the employees employees uh, get countries and I'm going to use the employee controller or I'm going to create another controller for the, to get all the data for this one so get countries state department and city we can use this one but I'm going to create a new one so artisan make controller employee the data controller and we don't need the resource here okay close this one now add the employee data controller class and the method is uh, countries and copy this one paste and change this sorry at this to the states this one departments and this one to the cities I'm going to remove the get just uh, employees countries states departments and cities and it's going to work with this one in the cities we need the state in the state we need the country so here we can add a country and here we can add no nothing here we can add the state state okay uh, save and go to the employee data controller and here create a method called it uh, countries and we need to return all the countries so countries and uh, country all we need to import this country okay and now return response uh, json and add the countries okay save now go to the create here and we have a components after that add the data here and return I'm going to create this countries state which is an empty array for now also the states an empty array uh, departments an empty array and cities an empty array and after the data we need methods and I'm going to create new method for get countries now And here we can use work with Axios, Axios.get and API slash 
employees slash countries. Okay, so if I go to the API, we have this employees countries, but we need to add the API first. And after that, then uh, the results is going to be this dot uh, countries the results dot data or catch the errors error and just console dot log error for now And uh, now when we uh, render this method, we, I want to hit that uh, with get countries. So I'm going to call this created hook, uh, created. And this dot get countries. Okay, if I save and go here, go to the network, refresh, and we have countries, response, message, API response, and why we have this, yeah, save and refresh. And now we have all the countries you see here. If I go to the view, create, and we have countries with four objects, we have all the countries. Okay, my friend, this is going to be a long video, so I'm going to cut this in this mean and create another one. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. Thank you very much.